Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the relevance of differentials in case of the concept known as elasticity. Let us see. Here, we can understand this thing with the help of our example, which is showing us the demand function in its functional form. And once if we have the functional form, we can understand the dependence of the independent variable and the dependent variable or the relationship. Now this is the formula that guides us about the elasticity of demand. You can see delta Q over Q divided by delta P over P. Now this delta can be nearly be equated to D. And this T actually is known as the differential. This is known as the differential, which now we can see exists in the formula of elasticity not just in the numerator, rather in the denominator as well. So now we can see that differential has come into play when it comes to the calculation of elasticity. Now this is the formula of point elasticity to be more specific. And you can see that not just one differential, rather differential of Q as well as differential of P is visible in the numerator. If we invert the formula, जहां पर आपने देखा हमने दोनों डिफरेंशियल्स को इंट्रोड्यूस करवा दिया इनटू द न्यूमिरेटर नाउ वी कैन डू दिस कैलकुलेशन फर्दर इन अ वे व्हिच इज मोर रीडेबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज़ दिस रेशियो ऑफ डिफरेंशियल्स बेसिकली टेल अस अबाउट द मार्जिनल डिमांड फंक्शन एंड इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी कैन सी द एवरेज डिमांड फंक्शन सो नाउ आफ्टर असर्टेनिंग दैट वी आर डीलिंग विद the role of differentials in the point elasticity. Let us take this example. If we consider the supply function, it is also following the ratio of the differentials, which is also known as the marginal supply function. And in the denominator, we can see the average supply function. And again, there is the role of the differentials in the elasticity formula. Numerically speaking, if we have this function of supply and there is a price which is fixed at 2, we can get the value of the partial derivative of the simple derivative that is Q dqs divided by dp. The value of it is equal to 11 which we can note or we can use it in the future. And on the right side what you see is the ratio of qs and p. Because we know yahaan par hume in values ko substitute karna hai. So qs over p is equal to 9. Ye steps aap verify kar sakte hai by doing it yourself. Or elasticity of supply now can be found by simply putting these values and coming to the results. It is equal to 11 over 9 which is greater than 1. Now it is quite evident that elasticity of supply is greater than 1 and it is showing a higher level of responsiveness of the supply as as dependent upon the prices the elasticity of supply is greater than one so the supply curve is highly elastic so this is how we can introduce the concept of differential in the elasticity in order to find the value and to be able to interpret it now this is another numerical example and this time we are dealing with the demand function which we have negative sign se verify hota hai. Aapne dekha differentials ka role again in the formula of elasticity. Jaysay humne last slide mein calculations ko perform kiya. Is tarikay se yaha par bhi hum pehle derivative calculate karenge jis mein do differentials included hai. Aur uske saath saath hum ab price ki various values ko substitute karke is ki interpretation ki taraf aayenge. Humne elasticity ko calculate kiya aur this is that step jahaan par humne isko calculate kiya aap isko verify kar sakte hain following the previous slide aur isme do possibilities hain agar hum price ko 25 assume kare aur dusri possibility hai ke hum price ko 30 assume kare humne dono possibilities yahan par substitute ki aur humne ye dekha ke agar price 25 ho to elasticity of demand is equal to minus 1 which shows unitary elastic demand curve aur the other possibility is 30 when the price is 30, the answer is minus 1.5, which shows that in this case, the demand curve is showing higher elasticity. So in this way, we can understand 
that how differentials can also play a role in interpreting the elasticity and enabling us to calculate it.